Hi, just a little impromptu rant video because I'm trying to get this uh, microchip Pick Kit 3 actually working. I've got a new product that has a Pick 24F in it. And I thought, yeah, no worries, I've got the Pick Kit 3, it's always worked for me, you know, I'll be able to program the damn thing. Wah! big mistake. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, show you this. Yes, I'm shooting this with my uh, webcam because I'm going to do some uh, screen capture and stuff like that here. So let me uh, just take you through the problem I'm actually having with this thing and the new MP Lab X uh, software. So I'll switch over to the uh, desktop here and I'm still in the bottom corner. Hello. Um, by the way, if anyone wants to know, I'm using X Split to uh, actually record this. So I've got my micro kit pick it three. Okay, let's plug it in, and um, I have n I've not used um, the new MP Lab X or new. It's it's been out for a couple of years now, but it's been a couple of years since I've done a pick uh, project. So I've used MP Lab before that, and I also use the standalone uh, software to actually uh, program this thing as well. Um, and I've you know I really haven't had too many issues with it. It's just kind of worked, but. MP Lab X does not work uh, with the thing. Now, MP Lab X, I've actually installed, um, it was like a 500 meg download or something, and rant number one, you don't get anything with it. It's just like the IDE, right? So for a 500 meg download, it's ridiculous. So um, you don't get the compilers, you don't get any extra configuration stuff. It gives, after you finish installing, it gives you a bunch of uh, options to go to the website and download all these additional stuff. Well, Bloody hell, why can't you include it? Anyway, what it's got now, they have they still have this standalone uh, uh, programming software, but it's now called the MP Lab IPE, and uh, Integrated Programming Environment. So here's the uh, icon for it. I'll load it up. And it's, you know, it's really quite good. It's better than the old one. It's more uh, comprehensive. So I've plugged in my uh, pick kit. Three, and you might have seen down in the bottom corner that it actually uh, recognized it. And check it out, it recognizes my pick kit three. Okay, there's the serial number, no problems whatsoever. If I if I disconnect my pick kit three, it should vanish. Yep. Okay, I plug it back in, so all the drivers, everything seems to be working just fine. Uh, and you know, I can choose like 24F. I can choose the device. I won't choose the exact device I've got because it doesn't matter. Because my problem. Um, extends to the fact that it doesn't, the IPE does not talk to my Pick Kit 3, even though it recognizes the damn thing. Now, I believe this connect button here is supposed to connect to the MP, uh, to the Pick Kit 3. And if we do that, we'll find that it just sits there and spins its wheels, does nothing, and it'll eventually come up and say, cannot connect to the damn thing. Why? It's bloody ridiculous. Ah. Oh. Unbelievable. Anyway, there it is. Connection failed. Okay. Unbelievable. And um, I can actually, and it's got the advanced mode here. Normally, by default, it puts you in simple mode. So if we go in, uh, the default password is microchip. Yeah, thanks for that. It's I can understand why they're doing this because it's designed to, uh, let's remember that password. Um, that's, oh, change password. No, I don't want that. Log on. Um, because they put these passwords in because this integrated programming environment designed to be used for uh, in a production type environment. So, you know, when you've got production workers, you don't want them going in and dicking around with all these advanced settings. You'll notice down the side here, we've now got uh, all of these, um, uh, you know, settings. So we can go in and change all sorts of things. Production mode, look at all these options and environment settings, memory settings, oh, external power, everything, right? So you don't want production operators dicking around with this uh, sort of stuff generally. You want to limit them to, uh, you know, uh, what they're particularly doing. But yeah, in my experience, I have extensive experience in the production environment, and they always find out the password, so it doesn't matter anyway, but yeah. Um, so, right, it recognizes my pick it three drivers are obviously working it will not connect if I go in and say manual download and so I thought oh okay it needs to update the firmware even though I've got auto I had auto download firmware actually ticked okay so it didn't recognize that my firmware was out of date I thought okay haven't used this thing for a couple of years download new firmware sure fine you know no problems I expected that um, but even when I manually go to manual download firmware please wait well oh here we uh, yeah please wait 
way it will locates the file. Here it is, picket 3 firmwaregem file, whatever the hell that is. Anyway, it's uh, going to spin its wheels again, and you'll find that it simply cannot connect to this picket 3. Why? Why the hell does my old picket 3, it's still the same picket 3. I believe the hardware hasn't changed, right? But why can't it just detect that, you know, the firmware is old and upgrade new firmware and work there it is connection failed so and yes i've tried to plug it into my target device and of course it won't talk regardless of if i select it because it's not even talking to the pit kit three so actually um you know i searched around went on the uh you know went on the interwebs and looked at uh, various forums and you know other people have been having similar sorts of problems there's talk about problems with uh, windows 8 and windows 10 and stuff like that but i'm not uh, I'm using Windows um, 7, right? So anyway, I asked on the uh, EEV blog forum, so thank you for everyone who actually replied. EEV blog forum is the best place to ask. Like, I had a response within, you know, minutes. There's, there's so many people. How many people are active at the moment? I mean, just as I'm recording this, here we go. There's 963 guests and 215 users um, on online at the moment, uh, just, you know, ready to chat and answer questions. And these are the active users in the last 60 minutes. It's just, <laughs> it's just crazy. So hi to everyone on the EV blog forum. Um, so I asked in here, you know, I'm getting this issue and, um, some people are saying, yeah, apparently this is like, you know, it's unreliable as hell, this thing. It's just, you know, horrible apparently. So yeah, thank you very much. Microchip trying to use your bloody parts and Picket 3 doesn't work. And a, a lot of people will say, don't even bother using the Picket 3, just get the ICD 3, it's much better. Well, that doesn't bloody help me. That's a couple hundred bucks and I don't have it. Um, so, you know, I thought I'd be able to use my Picket 3. No worries, but nah. Um Now they're talking about um, some people, sorry, I won't go into detail here, but they're talking about uh, you know, I may have to load in the old version of MP Lab because there's new MP Lab X, which is like they've changed, you know, the whole look and feel of the thing. I'm not sure about the underlying code and everything, but they've changed a lot of stuff in MP Lab X. So there's pretty much the old MP Lab and the new MP Lab X. And um, apparently, if you do that, then uh, maybe I can actually download the firmware file for this. It doesn't recognize it. And by the way, I can't even use the uh, pick kit, th the original pick kit three uh, programmer software will not actually talk to this either. Like the old version that they've um, actually done away with now, and it's been replaced by this integrated programming environment. It, you know, uh, oh, did I rant about the IPE? This integrated programming environment. Uh, this is my um, uh, other rant I wanted to do was that why can't you download this separately? The integrated program environment, the IPE. Some people just want to get their PIC kit three and just program a PIC. That's all they want to do. They want to update their product or do whatever. They don't care about MP LabX. They don't care about the source code. They don't care about compilers. They don't care about any other crap. They just want to program it. Yet you've got to download the 500 meg, as far as I'm aware, the 500 meg uh, MP Lab X just so you can get this little IPE programming software. Bloody hell. Make it available separately, idiots. Unbelievable. Like, oh, I don't know. Maybe there is a way to download it separately. But I, anyway, oh, yeah, bloody. If there is, then I apologize. But if there's not, then bloody well fix it. Um, so anyway, um, so apparently I can try, as somebody else also mentioned, that I could try and... Um, use the MP Lab X to download this .jam firmware file manually. And then somebody else was talking about modes or something, that this thing can go into different modes um, that you have to change using the IPE. But if the IPE or the old programmer software, but if it won't work, if it won't talk to it in the first place, then how the hell do you change modes? It's just crazy. And everyone's saying, yeah, yeah, you know, had issues, yeah, but it's unreliable as hell. There are some conflicts if the firmware uh, and the if the firmware on this and the IPEE do not match, the auto update will repeatedly fail. There you go, auto update. That's what I'm failing. So thank you very much, KL27X. Uh, you plug the device in, hit connect, it downloads new firmware, but it's broken. Yep, uh, like 
Ah, it's absolute horseshit. Yes, thank you very much. My <laughs> thoughts exactly, KL27X. Um, it isn't explained. It's horseshit that it isn't explained somewhere easily accessible document or sticky or a fact or anything like that. I know. This is complete and utter horseshit. I agree. Um, there is a... So, uh, so yeah, KL27X seems to know what he's talking about. Uh, he can find the... Yeah, if I can find the Picket 3 jar, I know where that is. Um... Yeah, there we go, firmware, so I can maybe, so what I'm going to do now is uh, stop this, I've been ranting long enough, I'll have a play around with the MP Lab X to see if I can actually, people are talking about uh, generating a dummy project file and then loading in the firmware and then trying to download the firmware to this manually. Um, so yeah, but why there's not an option in, in, you know, the IPE to do that, like update, you know, you saw it, right? I tried to update this thing. It's got a manual download firmware. I tried to do it. I selected the right file. It does not do it. So maybe MP Lab X. And what? Have I got a failed pick kit 3? I don't know. Is it bricked? I don't know. Do I have to crack it open and somehow connect to some sort of hack into some sort of internal ICSP bus or something like that to unbrick it or whatever? I've got no idea. Anyway, I'll go now, try MP Lab X, and I'll get back to you. I won't bore you with the details. I'll try and do the firmware manually, but ah, oh, this is, you know, I've already wasted like a couple of hours on this, trying to freaking get this thing talking, it's ridiculous, bloody microchip, These stupid tools, unbelievable. Alright, so here I am in the archives of uh, microchips uh, development tools, because yet yeah, they no longer support the uh, original uh, MP Lab, they only support MP Lab X, so here we go, MP Lab IDE archives, uh, and I will download, oh, where is it? I will download, I guess I'll download the latest version, uh, 8.92, install that, and see if I can get lucky updating the uh, firmware. And then, maybe the plan is, if it updates the firmware in that, then it'll then talk to the newer MP Lab X, and it'll update the firmware for the MP Lab X. That's the plan. Anyway, um, uh, by the way, uh, I didn't show you the uh, screenshot where I actually, uh, you know, it wouldn't even connect. Here it is. It wouldn't even connect with my uh, previous, uh, the old PicKit 3 uh, programmer software. We've got some stupid timeout error message or something like that. And somebody asked, um, uh, do-it-yourself audio asked if I have tried a separate computer. Yes, I actually set up all these, downloaded the tools again on a completely on a different uh, machine. It was a fairly clean machine. And uh, no, exactly the same uh, problem, once again running Windows uh, 7. So anyway, I'll install this, get back. And here's another little rant, I'm trying to download it, it's failed twice. It's 111 meg download, and it, it, for some reason my internet works, so is it the microchip bloody website? Now it's only gotten to 11 meg, and it's frozen. It got to like 50 meg or 70 meg before, before it froze. Now it's at 11 meg, and it'll eventually come up saying failed network error. Unbelievable. And I did actually go in here and uh, try and create a project in uh, MP Lab X to see if that I could like auto download the latest um, firmware just before I do the MP Lab 8, the older one. And of course, um, <laughs> because as I did, I rant at the beginning, yes, it didn't come with anything, any compilers. So when you choose your device, it says, yeah, look, there's my pick kit 3. It's all there. Everything's hunky-dory. But no compilers found, so I can't actually continue creating a project, not even a dummy one. I, I guess that's understandable, all right? So I'm not going to rant too much about that. So I'm actually downloading the, I don't know, the XC16 compiler because the 24Fs are a 16-bit chip, so I presume it's the X16 uh, compiler for the damn thing. It's downloading slowly. No, has that one... Has that one frozen too? I have downloaded, I've tried a dozen times to download the MP Lab IDE 8.92 and it keeps failing. Sometimes it gets to 10 meg, sometimes it gets to 70 meg, and it fails like a dozen times. There's nothing else wrong with my internet. God, I hate technology. Hate the internet. Urgh. And nope, I tried uh, Firefox as well to download. No, look, it failed. Full install uh, of the XC16 compiler. No, it got to like 40 meg or something, or like 80% of the way there. And wah. Murphy will get you every time. This is when, you know, th this sort of shit will happen when you're, you know, you've got to get this deadline. You've got to get your project finished. You've got to get your app finished or whatever. And 
Nah, it's, you know, before some trade show demo. No, nothing freaking works for you. Unbelievable. And there's David too. I've got a cameo. There he is. Cameo. He's back. He's back for the new year. Finally, um, I'm installing the compiler, but only because David too actually had happened to have a copy on his uh, laptop here. So, yeah, I can't download anything from bloody microchip. Unbelievable. And we're just trying to uh, get to the project properties here, trying to find the project properties. And uh, <laughs> David couldn't uh, do it either. And, well, no, he finally figured out it's this little spanner thing here. So that's changed from the original MP Lab, hasn't it? Oh, I, I think it's got a, it's got like I think they used to have a project thing up here. Anyway, it's been years since I've used it. Anyway, this tiny little spanner thing. So you click on this little spanner thing, and then we get in here, and hopefully, yeah. now what do we do? Uh, in Picket Three. Oh, there we go, Picket then, Three. Then there's a firmware. So if you go to the top in option. Program option firmware. Yeah. And then. Up. Use latest firmware. It's already done. It's already ticked. Yep. So when you load your program, it should. So I've got to have a dummy program though. Yeah, probably. Right, right, okay. <laughs> so I've got to load in something and um, well, you can, you can hello have, world program. You don't program. necessarily need to because right. you can upload code the other way. You can do it the other way. Oh, right. So I can actually download, yeah, like a firmware. Yeah. So I can, yeah. Okay. All right. We'll get back to you. There we go. It's trying to connect to the PicGit 3. No, connection failed. So, yep, doesn't work in MP Lab X. All I did was hit the, uh, the down, what is it, the read device thing up here. And just no, yeah, I think it didn't work. And finally got it, but uh, David had to download it on his uh, notebook, and it downloaded first go. So uh, go figure. I've tried two different browsers on this, and I can't download anything from uh, MP Lab. So uh, anything from Microchip at all? Ah, uh, yeah, standard location, whatever. Okay, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Next, just install everything. Come on, go, Silver Sovereign. Unbelievable. I've been sitting here for a couple of minutes and it's just doing nothing. Absolutely freaking nothing. Oh. All right, finally got it to work. <laughs> uh, it would like to install the device driver. I'm presuming, yes, I want to install it because maybe it's an older driver and it will work with the Picket 3, so that's worth doing. Like, it may mean that I can't uh, talk to MP Lab X, but I can uninstall this and reinstall MP Lab X, that's fine. So I'll, I think I'll go install. Or will Murphy get me and I've chosen the wrong option? Anyway, we'll see. Uh oh, this doesn't look good. Four bytes expected, zero bytes received, failed to properly connect to Picket 3. Wah, 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 wah. You know, target device. Yeah, I might set up and now set up a project and see if it does it, etc. But as it stands, um, nope, I installed MP Lab 8, which it previously worked with. I think I was using 8 points something or other. Yeah. And it previously worked and failed to, and it just does not connect anymore. So, what the hell? Microchip tools seriously suck. Hold on to your hats. We realized that uh, we were using a really old version of the PickKit programming software, like version 1, and um, but that's what was on the microchip uh, website. That was their version, but we got version 3.1. Google, um, Google Archives. Google Archives. <laughs> Google Cache. <laughs> so we'll install that, and uh, maybe Bob will be our uncle. Here we go. We might have it. This is what we're hoping for. Look at this. The Picket 3 operating system version 2.0 must be updated. You bet your ass we want to update it. This is the one. Yep, I remember using this one. Oh, version 3. There you go. Picket 3 operating system must be updated before it can be used. Blah, blah, blah. Download the new operating system. You bet your ass. We've actually got it bare. Bare bore. We were getting desperate. We were going to actually hook up a Picket 2 to the um, in-circuit serial programming port on this thing, which is the wrong pitch. Sorry, my lead's not long enough to show you. It's the wrong bloody pitch. Uh, pin pitch is not 0.1 inch, uh, bastards. Anyway, 
Uh, but apparently the clones you can buy on eBay, if you can get like $16 clones or something delivered from Hong Kong, they have the correct pin pitch, apparently. Okay, download. Let's see if this works. Oh, come on. Yes, yes, I heard it. Yes, a, a rebooty sound. Oh, we might have it. Yes. Come on, hey! David. Vic victory dance. It just works. <laughs> victory dance. Do a dance. I do a dance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> en engineers don't dance. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Big gangly arms there. Yep. Bingo, that was it. All we had to do. Well, okay. Well, no, we still haven't tried it with the uh, MP Lab X and everything else, but um, at least we're getting somewhere. It We've works. updated the firmware. Well, it was never going. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Yeah, no, no, it, it wouldn't. No, it completely. Sweet. Under. All right. All right. Here we go. This I should have remembered. This I remember now. I remember using PitKit version three, PitKit three programmer software version three, and um, yeah. Anyway, I've now got it hooked up. So I've now got it on a long. Um, I'll show you the uh, pin pitch. By the way, there's the stupid. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Check it out. Stupid pin pitch. Look at that. It's not 0.1 inch. That's the internal um, in-circuit programming uh, header. So I'm going to plug this into my product, my super secret product. I can't tell you about. That uses a PIC24F VDD on PIC Kit 3. So we'll turn it on and then we can um, try and uh, it, it should detect a device, if I remember rightly. Here we go. So let's just choose the pick 24. Can I just do a read? No. No. Okay, now I'm just bumming around trying to use this thing. Haven't used it for years. I used to use it all the time. It's amazing how you forget things, you know? If you don't use them for a while, I mean, you know, it's a couple of years. I used to use it extensively to develop for and program all my uh, micro watches and stuff. Uh, Anyway, I'll get back to you. Uh, no device detected. So, yeah, I'll find a board. That that could be the product. I haven't tried to connect to it before. So, um, yeah, we'll f try and find something to connect to, and then we'll try it on MP Lab X. This is going... What have we been going for? At least half an hour now in recorded footage, but we've, like, spent all day on this. Seriously. Stupid. I can't shut down the bloody software. Ah, David 2 can't do it either. Wow, unbelievable. All right, here we go. I'm back in the MP Lab X IPE. All these terms are confusing. Anyway, it's just detected the PitKit 3. Let's see if it can connect. No. Uh, no. Looks like we've got the same shit. No. Looks like we've upgraded back to the software. No, that doesn't work. Connection failed. Great. What? The target circuit may require more power, blah, blah, blah. Yep, but but did it update? Could not be restarted. Ugh. No, I don't think it updated. If it updated the firmware, it would have gone did it, did it with the USB connect thing again, probably. So, no, I don't think anything magic happened there. Okay, back to MP Lab X. Oh, sorry, MP Lab 8. Oh, this is just so bad. Nah, even MP Lab 8 can't connect to it. Download PitKit operating system. Sure. Oh, 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 oh! We forgot to do that. Oh! That was dumb. Oh, Hang on. I wish we had that. Oh, oh no, we're, we're, we're still recording. We're still oh, recording. Good. <laughs> Hang on. Hold on to your hats. We forgot about one thing. This mode. You remember we told you about the mode at the start? How this thing had different modes. Here we go. Look at this. Revert to MP Lab mode. Here we go. Clicking OK will program the air so that it will restart into bootloader mode. This allows communication with MP Lab software. Oh. Are you shitting me? This mode can alternatively activate it by holding down the Picket 3 button during USB plug in. I didn't know that. Nobody told us that. Where did it say that? There you go. You can hold down because there's a button on the front of this stupid thing. That you can hold it down. Do you want to hit cancel and try to do that like that? No, no, no. <laughs> I want to. No, I want. No, it's telling us it can do it. I want to try and do it. 
no changes mode to the program image. It's just a mode, right? So you hold down the button. If you're having problems connecting, hold down the button. This could be it. This could be the holy grail. Kit, hit, hold it down during USB plug-in. And maybe you get some different LEDs flash or something. Here we go. What is that? There we go. Yep, I heard it reconnect. Yep. Woo. Yep. Has been reverted to converted to MP Lab mode. Exiting GUI. Crash. <laughs> like, and the only way to shut it down is to go into um to actually kill it in Task Manager. This is unbelievable. Oh, and God. and it won't and it, it'll and you have to do it a couple of times because it puts up a fight. Right. So you got to. Yep. Wow. <laughs> okay, now where do we go from here? MP Lab IPE, perhaps. Let's go straight into the new IPE, the integrated programming environment. And let's see if we can connect. Yes! Yes! Woo! Yeah! We did it! That's it. Oh, probably, after like a day of dicking around with this thing, I reckon all we had to do was probably hold down the button on this thing well, to it put it... It wasn't going boom, boom at all before. Oh, so no. Well, yeah, maybe some firmware. Okay. Very old firmware. Yeah, all right. All right. Maybe it was old firmware. But, uh, so the key, I think, here is to remember that this is a programming environment. Yeah, maybe it was old firmware. But, so the key, I think, here... Oh, hang on. Failed to download firmware. Connection failed. Hang on. But at least we actually connect to it with the new IPE MP Lab X. So this is a big step. Oh, two target device. Oh yeah, okay, yes, yes, we don't get, yeah, cuz I don't have a target device hooked up. That's fine. Yeah, no, no, that's 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 good. I think we're rock I think we're cooking with gas. So the I so the trick was this thing with the whatever firmware was programmed into here would only talk to the PicKit 3 programmer software version 3.1. It would not talk and connect to anything else. Okay, I'm going for broke. I got it hooked up to my new product. And uh, yeah, apparently in the jar file that we looked at before, it contains all of all these different hex files. The jam file was apparent like it was just a list of the text list of those files. So um, the hex files, there was all, all different modes. So depending on which chip you want to program, it looks like this thing will download programming firmware to your PicKit 3 to then program your target device. So that's why we're getting this failed to download firmware down here. So here we go. I have now selected the correct device. It is plugged. Oh, no, hang on. I haven't applied power. So let's apply a um, power target circuit from the tool. You bet. All right. So we're going to apply power. And we are going to connect. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Just got those damn asterisks again. The target circuit may... Oh, we're still getting that error message. Okay. May require more power. Nah. Okay. Well, that could be... That, that could be true. So I don't know if I can actually power the target on here. Um, haven't actually tried it. All right, we'll try another board. Try another target. Here's an annoying quirk of this software. Any time you change the target device, it resets this power target circuit from tool checkbox. Ah. Oh. Jeez, thanks, microchip. Um, yeah, it's a safety measure. I'm sure it was decided by committee. So I'm, I'm actually trying to connect to a uh, Digilent uh, chip kit. Um, so hopefully I got the pinouts correct because it's a bit of a uh, bit of a mess. There we go. Um, no, no, it doesn't like that. It's downloading the software. We might have success. Can we show that to the webcam? Yeah. Here we go. It's going to be... Sh oh, hang on. I'll go full screen. Go full screen. Sorry, we're using Dave's... Uh, what is this? Microsoft Surface yeah, thing. Yeah. And it's downloaded. This is MP Lab X. Yeah? Yeah, yeah MP Lab X. Yep. And it's downloaded the new firmware. Yeah. Because new, it wasn't... Uh, there we go. Look, it's doing stuff. Yes! Oh, that's done. That's a win because we think it was in MP Lab mode, which of course wouldn't work with the IPE it's or whatever. I can't believe it's it. Reading. It's reading the chip. There I we can't go. Believe it. Woo! 
We won. We actually read. Let's flash an LED. <laughs> it's flashing at night. Uh, we, no, we have won. We have spoken. We have spoken. Wait, to don't our... unplug it. Don't unplug it. Whatever. <laughs> we have so, <laughs> spoken to our chip kit. It's done. And yep. So we can now read. Yep. I got to read complete. Now we can have a look at what's on there if you want. Seriously, this has been a solid day's work. It's probably been a day and a half. Well, we haven't worked on it all day today, have we, Dave? We've been dicking around with yeah. other things. Uh, we, we got a new scope. That was exciting. New scope turned up. No, I should be able to do it now. So let's disconnect it. Let's, let's go live. Sorry about this super duper long video. Let's plug it in. I'll load up MP Lab, MP Lab X IDE. Sorry, I've got to switch back to the uh, screen here. And can, can we edit the existing one to change it? Or is uh, take take longer, just go file new. Yep. File new, microchip embedded, blah, blah, blah. Yep. 32. And then scroll to that one. Yep. Sweet. Pick Select it three. Pick it. Yep. Woohoo. That'll do. <laughs> that software will do. <laughs> microchip sucks two. Or just M. Like <laughs> <laughs> Finish. All right. There we go. Okay. So we're in like Flynn. And now we just read, right? We just go read device memory. Connecting the programmer. So was it just... Yep, there we go. There we go. Yeah, because it doesn't... It, firmware's fine, so it doesn't have to download new... It downloaded firmware before, right? Yeah, I downloaded yep. firmware. Okay. It automatically... Because we had the configuration set in to set to auto-download firmware. There you go. That so it works. Ridiculous number of steps to get that working. Uh, I know. Crazy. We spent all day. Both of us had a shot. Um, and, yeah, the, all the stuff on the forum helped, but ultimately it didn't do the business until it was we... It misleading. It, well, <laughs> no, no. It, a few people were right about the mode, that mode setting. That mode setting made a lot of yeah. difference, but... Yeah, that was definitely right. But, but we had... On that. Yeah, yeah. But we had to... <laughs> the key was to download the 3.1 programmer software in order for it to update the firmware, to actually wreck talk to it, to update the firmware, chicken and egg thing. Yeah. Um, and because that's probably the last software I used with my Pit Kit 3 would have been that version 3.1 programming software, probably four years ago or something. Yeah. Right? That, you know, that would have been the last thing I used. And obviously it had the firmware on it and nothing else liked it. So, woohoo! So read complete. Win! Yahoo. This is great. This is great. So now, how do I call it? Where's my microchip sucks project up here? Let's go into my microchip. Do I have to load it, or am I just in like Flynn? Um, how do I? Set as. Set as. Or yeah, set as current or active project. Set as main project. There we go. Boom. Right. 24F. I'll plug it back into my product now, yeah? Can't let you see it. Secret. It's pretty cool, though, isn't it, Dave? My new project? Yeah. Yeah. And it's getting cooler as the, the days go by. <laughs> uh, how long until it's cooler? Oh, no, it's another prototype's due in a couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, n another few weeks I'll get another prototype. But there was a big goof with it. Um, anyway, I'm uh, developing a product in conjunction with somebody. Um, or a company who shall remain nameless. Anyway, let's... Uh, so that is that, right? So it's connected now. All we've got to do is um, we want to go into the spanner thing, right? Because we want the pick kit three and we do want to apply power. So we go in, ah, power target circuit. It kept that setting. Beauty. Something works in microchip. All right. X is actually really a lot better. <laughs> you, you're, you're an MP Lab X fanboy. It's a lot better. It's a lot better. A lot of people complain about MP Lab X. I've only ever heard complaints well, about it. The transition is horrible. Right, okay, <laughs> right. You couldn't, like, but once you're used to it, it's... Seems fine. Yeah. Right, yeah. Okay, so that's it. So I've selected that. So let me try and read. Oh, yeah, i got to scroll down here. Hang on. Uh-oh. It's downloaded new firmware. Oh, for the different... Yes, for the different... Because this is a 24F as opposed to a 32F. Completely different series. So the... The pick kit, I mean, that's just dumb. I mean, you know, like, I actually, now that I recall, I think it has to do this. I vaguely remember, because the target device does not match expected device. Would you, ooh. Oh, okay. So there, it gives me some weird hex code. Would I like to continue? Well, I'm just reading. It's not like I'm programming it, 
right? So let's just go, oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. No, I wouldn't. Why? You wuss? I am a wuss. <laughs> You're a wuss. I'm going to read. Come on. All right, here you go. This is actually a photo of the uh, PIC24 FJ in my product. Um, and it you can see it is exactly the same as what I've got set over here. 24 FJ 64 GA 310, right? Yet, it's telling us, uh, would you like to continue? Well, let's cancel. Let's do it again. So let's read. Read device memory, main project. And it says the IDs do not match. Why microchip? This is more microchip funny business. Here we go. Would I like to continue? You bet your ass I want to continue. And if it ruins the firmware in my product, I am not going to be a happy camper. Um, of course, now that I've supposedly got a working MP uh, PIC kit 3, I can re-download it. But uh, I've only got the source code. I don't have to recompile. Read complete. There you go. Yep. Okay, sweet. So it, it well, it talks. It's talking. Bingo. The uh, that's the end of the video, folks. All done and dusted. That took um, like a day's. I pissed away a day, day and a half trying to get this stupid pit kit three working. I mean, that's just disgusting. And everyone on the forum says like similar. Um, things in various other forums. That's a pain in the ass. All these different firmware versions and, and and modes and crap like that. It's just ah, uh, it's ridiculous. Yeah, when it works, you have no problem. Like before, I I really have never had um, any major problems with uh, pick um, things in the past. And using um, I developed several projects with uh, picks, many actually, and program using the pick kit three or not many, you know, three or four and. No problems whatsoever, but yeah, when I dragged this old uh, pit kit three out of the uh, out of the junk bin, it um, caused no end of problems, and that was completely non-obvious. That was a lot of dicking around, but we finally got it. So sorry, that's probably like forty-five minute video, and <laughs> like I was hoping it'd be pretty quick, but no, it wasn't. So there you have it, microchip. Oh man. It's a dog's breakfast. It really is. All the development stuff for this. It's a mess. So pick it three. I mean, and how old is it? Five years. When did I do my original rant on this thing? Um, yeah, it was like video 20 or something. Um, it was like five, good five years ago. And they haven't come up with an update for it. It's ridiculous. And Microchip are, are on the verge of buying um, Atmel. As well, so all you Atmel fanboys out there, well, <laughs> you might be uh, forced to eat some of this uh, MP LabX uh, dog food. But yeah, anyway, um, it worked in the end, and now that I've got the correct firmware on here, I'm sure it'll give no more problems whatsoever, and it'll probably work a treat. Um, I'll load my source code in; everything will work fine. Because David too says MP LabX works fine. He's developed several projects with it. And it's fine. It's fine. There you go. Yeah. He says it's fine. They should put their link back on their site. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yeah, because, yeah, like, the only software that worked here was version 3.1 of the programmer software, which is not on Microchip's website. Where is it? Where's their, la where's their bloody... Here it is. Here's all their archive stuff. Here it is. Down the bottom. Standalone program... Pick oh, I can't now. Yeah, poking to it. There's my cursor. Pick it three standalone programmer app version one. Oh! <laughs> That's we really, didn't see it. That's really funny. That's funny. All right. Sorry, microchip. There it is. Pick it three programmer app and scripting tool version three point one. That's embarrassing, Dave. Scripting tool. And scripting tool. That's why, like, I didn't, like, I just went programmer app. That's what I wanted, standalone program app. Okay, sorry, I apologize. Microchip, maybe I'll edit that out. I don't know. Oh, but, yeah, no, it's there. Okay, so if I used that, we probably would have saved, oh, actually, I might have saved most of today's, most of the, most of the work today, yeah. probably. If we downloaded that, it would have talked to it. Yeah, Damn it. Would have made sense. Yep. Downloaded the I downloaded the standalone programmer app when I should have downloaded the programmer app and scripting tool version 3.1. Wow. Okay. Yep. Fail. 
Sorry, microchip. Didn't mean to bag you that much, but yeah, like, your stuff is still crap. Actually, we just realized David2 made exactly the same mistake downloading that uh, standalone programmer software as I did. So he didn't have any pre-existing thing. I just told him, download the standalone programmer app and try it on his machine. And he downloaded the wrong one too. So, you know, and, and it was familiar to me. I didn't twig because it was... It looked like the programmer, standalone programmer tool I was familiar with. It wasn't the correct one, but ultimately, this is a failure of MP Lab X and M and the older MP Lab as well to properly recognise, you know, this this firmware having like different modes and firmware and crap that doesn't talk to each other. You've got to have it in some stupid mode, and there's no universal, you know, obvious like big, you know, bold text on the on the website that says you must do this or in the oh, it's just nah anyway and many people on the forum um ultimately could help in some respects but ultimately didn't nail it down either so that's with the collective nerd power of um uh, some people on my forum as well so geez <laughs> like unless i didn't follow somebody's instructions precisely but i tried to but um, yeah, it's ultimately MP Lab X is just needs to handle the firmware for this thing better. It's just ridiculous. Crazy. Catch you next time.